Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I am Johnny B. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for, for Advantage. Advantage. Dude! Mate. This is like World of Tanks, but different. World of Tanks, but different. So, first thing to note, these are the new Platoon packs that have been released fairly recently. Mm. From them, a few things are different about these. Most striking thing is the packaging. Yeah, and that's quite vibrant and different. That's, that's very modern, isn't it? It's Oosh. kind of orange and Catches black. your eye. Absolutely. Um, it was something uh, I remember when we had him on, on the live show, Pete Saminovich was talking about talked about this and he said one of the things that they realised with the original tanks packaging was that it, it looks nice on its own but you can't really see the tanks it just it's disappears black. yeah black background. so like grey tanks in a black box yeah yep, weren't so yep. visible so this that was higher contrast well, so the, these new platoon packs is a new way of kind of packaging and selling World of Tanks the miniatures game mm. they're not new vehicles they're in fact the first few that they released this is wave oh, okay. one, two, and three. Right, right, right. Released as a batch. They do work out cheaper this way. I think this is, I want to say £26. It might be even be a bit less than that compared with £11 each. So you're getting half a tank free. I mean, that's or thereabouts. Right. Um, but of course, if you've been collecting since the beginning, you do have all of these, but you don't necessarily have 10 of all of these. They're nearly, they're not quite as cheap as the buying Flames of War tanks as a platoon box, but then you get five of one type. Yes, where this is like proper in the spirit of World of Tanks, the three completely <laughs> random <laughs> tanks. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, plus all the cards and everything else. That yeah, makes so, the that's game gonna, the game. so let's pop one open then, John. Let's have a look. Can let's I pop the, what, well, this is the uh, British tank platoon, so, British tank platoon, so that's, that's what you're all about. about. Thank you. Uh, a23 AFIF. Is that who, pack, who packed it? Thank right. you. Me. Robot or whatever person you are. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> big, Whoa, big card pack. So thumbs near uh, 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 words. Something it does. So what's here. in this? The British one. You get all of the cards in all of the languages. You, uh, well, well, not in all three of the languages, languages, but three languages. So in this, you get a Cromwell medium tank. Gives you some blurb as well on the back there. Uh, you get a Churchill 7 heavy tank, which is lovely in the middle there. And you get a lovely, beautiful little Valentine light tank. A uh, okay. little bit of history on the back there, which is wonderful. And it tells you you get three painted plastic tanks. So they are pre-built and primed. Compared to their full frame kits, they're usually built in the most basic configuration possibly. No extra gun bins. In the external just... stowage, commander figures, those kind of things not included. Right. But they are primed. You definitely can paint straight over the top of this. I have done this many times. Yeah, you've, you've tried to have me. You and Mr. Workshop have, yeah, have done that. The, As a fact, you also get uh, three tank cards in there. So are they three separate yeah, packs yeah. for each one? So you yes, get each, Churchill, each tank. Time. Each one's coming a little, a little baggy. This is because of the languages, the languages. which we'll see in a, in a second. And you get 15 upgrade cards. You get a hell of a lot more upgrade cards. So I'm assuming that these are straight replicas of what came in the original packaging. You know, the same, I think you get the same commander and the same five cards as you Nothing got. Nothing. With the, it's when wave one came out. Copy. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to have so, a look anyway. So, so picking one? I'm having a look at the Valentine. You're going to have a look deck. at the Valentine? Okay. Oosh. And I will open the Carmel. Oh! Are you ready? Oh, Snug. Come on, John. Get it. Snug. Get it done. Get it done. So, you get a whole bunch of cards. Uh, a petit calibre. That's French. Yeah. Very <laughs> schlush. So, you get your four copies of your tank card. English, German, French, and Polish. Yep. Uh, yeah, the four. And, the and you'll recognise which is your language because you'll be able to read, read the words. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's that's how that works. And then again, same through with the other cards. You've got them in the same four languages. It says you get 15. So one assumes it's going to be five, five for each. each. Yeah. 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 And there we go. Absolutely. Boom. Okay. So that's going to be the alternate language. Okay, cool. And there's nothing different about the tanks. They've not been upgraded, repointed, rejiggered. Or anything. None of that. It's just, no, it's just a different. You have a platoon. It's just a different way of doing it. Yeah. So uh, in terms of the in terms of the British one for the, the Cromwell, for example, you have got the option to give it the 
the uh, 3.7 inch howitzer, nice. the Rolls Royce Meteor. You can give it a vertical stabilizer, and you've got Wayne Turvey in Call for Vengeance. Nice. With the Valentine. Uh, Valentine gets the GMC 600 and many other numbers with it, 71A. <laughs> a different engine. <laughs> that is an it engine. Gives it initiative. Get a quick fire two pounder, Mark 10. Uh, fill the tanks with CO2. Sounds like fun. Six cents, which apparently is a commander. It's a commander ability, yeah. Ability. And Mr. Philip Young. Yeah, as the yeah, so uh, definitely crew loader, that. so yeah, yeah that's, that that's, tank, that's that's straight port. But as, you know, a, as a set of three tanks, interesting. In our game so far, we found the Cromwell to be one of the best tanks in the game. We, yeah, that's only because we've sort of gone min we max, have a platoon of the same vehicles. Yeah, we not, well, we don't we don't play like an elite versions. We don't of, yeah, versions yeah, yeah. of the game. Yeah, but the point about the. the Flame um, about World of Tanks and Miniatures game, and it was like the same version before it. Is four firepower is the kind of the minimum that if you get lucky, you'll do some proper damage. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the you noise. Know, uh, how many points is worth paying for that extra pip of firepower is hard to say. Mm. But the Cromwell also has a respect, it's got the mobility three and it's got great initiative. It's a really good all rounder. The, the can... basic hole that you pay for. I think you can get the same stats on a Panzer III with upgrade cards for one point less. But you are filling up slots to achieve that. Yeah. It's like the Cromwell comes out of the packet. That's it, boom, done. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah really good. So out of curiosity then, what sort of what points do we play? We normally? usually play about two hundred. Two hundred points. Yeah. And so the what, Cromwell is forty seven. We maybe we it's two fifty that we play. No, maybe. I think it's two hundred. And I think you you like your platoon has come out of vanilla <laughs> to get in all time other than a bar tanks. of chocolate or something yes something like that um yeah. so you've got 47 points there 33 points for that and yeah. then so va valentine's a funny one because what they've done with valentine in the system if you haven't seen it before and oh. we, we do we are not going through the details oh no of no, all no, of no these, we'll be here all day or anything. um valentine is interesting because they've called it a light tank valentine is a is a a late early war, so so by which I mean it's like a 1941 vehicle. But the end of 41. But it's an infantry tank. It is not a light tank and it isn't fast. And this game gives it the light tank rule. That's French. But it only has a mobility of one. <laughs> right. and the light tank rule, what's interesting about that is, is that if you get this tank within close range of an other tank, of an enemy tank, other friendlies can shoot at it with oh, a like firepower. It up, like it's like, yeah, yeah, I don't know, oh. it's just like, you know. There I mean, it is. In a modern sense, it, it paints the target. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think you could do that. No, well, back, back, in, back in here. Um, and it only moving one means it's really struggling to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting it's ability really to have. good if I can get up close, but I'm very slow. It's handy if they come and park beside you. Um, yeah, but it's got some I'm decent hit points. I'm, I think I think Valentine is a bad tank in this game, if I'm going to be brutally honest. But Cromwell's a belter, <laughs> and, and Churchill, Beast. he's got three armour, you know? Oosh. So these are really, really good sort of tanks for all circumstances. If you are not doing very well... At World of Tanks and Miniatures games, your friends are beating you. Get hold of four Churchill. Uh, Cromwell. Just play Cromwell. Cromwell for the win. Just play with Cromwell's up to your points limit, and and then slowly modify your force because they're crackers. They're great tanks. But this is a way to box. get in out of a platoon. Definitely. Uh, one thing to note, and it does stay on the back. This is not a complete game in itself. Obviously, for those that don't know, however, yeah. you do need a copy of the base game. You do. So, but yeah. You can yeah. expand but the these. But the interesting thing about three is, and it, and it's a, one of these would be a duplicate, is if you have the base game, you now have four tanks within a faction. Oh, yeah, because you get one. Because you get one of each in the base, the which, which is, I think it's the Panzer IV, it's the Cromwell, I think, it's the Sherman, and it's the T-34. Wonderful. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. Boom. have a look at the German one. Is the German one... You get great tanks in here, don't you, John? Um, Look at those beauties. Was that, was that a laugh? or? Well, you get a tiger, innit, mate? You do get a tiger off the back. You get your Panzer IV, and it looks like a Stug or a Stug. Your Panzer IV or a Stug. One is. So, of the, so far, I would say that the German one is the worst one. Oh, really? And I would say that because I think um, we've played this game quite a bit. I think Panzer IV is terrible. 
Um, I'm trying to remember it. We need to get it back on the Panzer table. Panzer IV is like Cromwell, but, but with worse. much lower initiative. Initiative five. Initiative five instead of eight, which is just so oh, far behind. That's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a lot worse. Um, and it's got mobility too. I think I played with far too many games because it's like the principal German tank of the war. Yeah. Played far too many games using Panzer Fours. Yeah. Not concluding. You know, with with any kind of game with points in it, some sort of min max approach is important. Yeah. And Panzer Four sits at the bottom end of middle. You know, it's like it's just crap at everything, <laughs> and you're paying a lot of points for it. But it's not in the spirit of World of Tank. You know, you, you can only use that because that's the you know the one you've got before the next good tank in the chain. Before the good tank, yeah, yeah. unlocking. So I think the the, Pan, the Panzer IV is a garbage tank, and Stug Three is is the same because it's basically got the same stats, but it's got the forward firing limitation. Uh, I think does it have an extra point of armor? Does have an extra point of armor? Pay more points for it, but it's got that forward firing thing, which is still like. 180 cross. It is, but this is a game with tanks having mobility three. Whee! Tanks can move like 14 inches. Sure. Spin around yeah. in your direction. The redeeming feature is Tigers are great tanks. Tigers! Uh, which is in there. And I think for those people for whom cards are important, I'm just trying to remember. I think there might be. Just checking if they've primed underneath the turret they have. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get my money's worth. No, it wasn't Tiger. There's um, Is there there's a specific there are... card you're looking for, sir. Yeah, there's thing, there's things that I think it's the camouflage net, and I thought it came with Tiger. There are some cards that are there's a copy of in the basic set, and mm. then there's like only one copy somewhere else. Oh, right. In amongst them. And and the, the, so the other great thing about this is with having all of the um, them in all the languages, if you actually know what the card does and you just need more oh, copies to you put on. Oh, You can just, oh. Ooh. Well, you know, so that's down, to the, that's down to individuals, isn't it? I, I probably am not uh, gamey enough to want to use a tank in a card in French. I'm going to shoot that tank with the French thing on yeah. it and I want you to you read know, it I, out I, I, I feel like I didn't deserve to win if I did, if I won with an upgrade that was a French card. Yeah. And I was only doing that because I didn't have copies. But you are effectively getting four copies of all the cards. Yeah, if that's, yeah. Like if you play at an event where you have to have physical cards, Just you are show. getting a lot of copies of everything. Okay. Yeah. We've that's already cool. been waffling on quite a bit. What have you got next, John? Uh, briefly. We'll be, we'll be quick here. We'll be the... quick here. Medicansk. Do we even want to open it? You get yeah, get it out, medium get tank, out. You get the M4A1 Sherman, and you get a lovely... Uh, strong! M10 Wolverine. -y. So you get a Lee, Ooh. an M10 Wolverine, Lee. and a Sherman uh, M4A1. A1. Yeah. Cool. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. De deployed out of the dropship. So the Lee is the um, American version. Ah, sorry, it's loose. The Lee is the American version of uh, the Lee Grant. Surely you mean <laughs> <laughs> well, the other way we, around. We used far more of these than they did, I oh, think. Right. Oh, certainly in the... Because these get to us in 42, mm. maybe even late 41, Sherman won't arrive for another for another six months to a year. Sherman is a huge improvement on this because this has got that very tall profile. Yeah. So the main gun is in the hull. This is a 37mm in the, in the turret. Yeah. It the, looks cool. The when, it, when I say cool, The I mean, one in American yeah. service, the Lee, has got a much smaller turret. The British, the Grant, as the turret is nearly twice as wide because we knew how important three-man turrets were. To get everything working To get everything efficiently. working efficiently, yeah. And there's quite a lot of crew in this because you've got a gun crew for the whole mounted gun as well. So it's quite manpower intensive. So like eight tank. dudes in that tank. <laughs> oh, well, not, we're not quite First World War numbers, but getting Three that way. Deeper. It's quite um, uh, And quite in the game, I think what's funny about it, just because of the way the, 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 the rules work, instead of changing the rules, you have to buy the secondary gun as an upgrade. Oh, the turret? Yes. So you could technically play this without the turret because it has it has stats like it's a regular tank. Mm. 
with their firepower four survivability and mobility two. So, you know, recognizable scats. There's nothing on it. It's a medium tank. It has a restricted line and fixed field of view and fixed field of fire. Of That's that all about the whole style, gun. Yeah. But rather than sort of creating a whole series of special rules because this on uh, to tanks. Then they stick it in a card. They've stuck it in an upgrade card. Yeah, let me find it. It's, it's just that 37mm gun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the 37mm gun, while attacking this tank, may take uh, minus one firepower to ignore the assault gun roll. So it's literally, yeah. It's just a, it you can shoot the, the turret, turret instead, but you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to take this. You don't have to take it. <laughs> take the turret <laughs> which, which to me is bonkers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It does, it, yeah, it had it. Yeah. Now it's only two points, but still, because it's kind of you know build as an upgrade. Well, that's game versus. I understand how they're kind of, but they're wanting to not change the core rule, core mechanics of the game. They want all the tanks to work the same, so they create that unusual rule saying, "Well, if you shoot anywhere any other direction, you might." Gives you the off. option of three sixty. Yeah. yeah. To yeah. represent another gun. Uh, Sherman. M4A1 Sherman is one of that medium tank family. Like Much like the Cromwell Panzer IV, it's on an initiative 6 at uh, 37 points. It's better than Panzer IV. Boomstick with an open top. The Wolverine. <laughs> Boom. So that... I'm just wondering, I just can't remember whether you can take the, the big guns on it. Or whether they're separate... separate uh, Models, so you can take the 76 mil gun, uh, but no. So if you want the like the Jackson or the British with the 17 pounder, mm. they're different kits. It's oh. not that because okay. they do look different. They they do have a very different model right. that they make. So that's what that is. Um, American one I like less. Is it just because, what, it's American? None of them are standout vehicles. Uh, you know, so with the German force, the Tiger is a standout vehicle. What the, would you say was the American standout vehicle? I, 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 the out time? of those three, out of those three, well, the problem is that you've got Tiger in this. That it, This is not at a time. Cromwell's a 1944 tank. There's that Churchill 7 or something. That's a 44 Seven, yeah. tank. This is a 43 tank, which is the last Valentine model with the... So it's well the tanks are the... Tanks oh, it doesn't matter. You can, you can have a... Yeah, so, but I mean, in terms of the World of Tanks game, none of those tanks are particularly, in, are particularly good at anything in particular. <laughs> cool. Yeah. They don't, they, in no way do they, yeah. do they, you know, it's like Cromwell is, is a brilliant platform. Tiger is a pretty good platform, the one. Oh, but if you're not, can you I get them, three different it? tanks? You get three different tanks, a reasonable price, pre-built. Last up, Sovietski. Soviet. Everywhere east of Germany, we just say ski at the end to represent our, like, oh. lack of... Ignorance. Sensitivity yeah, and that too, yeah. To Eastern European uh, brothers. Okie dokie. Now, this one I think is the best one. Because I think these are all brilliant vehicles in the game. You got T34. You get a T34. It's just a 76 Standard. in the middle of one, which you got in the star box. You get a KV. Uh, maybe it's not brilliant, but it's good. And you get an SU100. Oh. Look at that gun. I know, it's ridiculous. Look at that gun. It's longer than the vehicle. <laughs> it is, it is. Or as long as, at least. So when you look at the stats of these, why, why I say these are all good vehicles, is T-34, very similar stats to Cromwell, but doesn't pay for it in the same way. So how much was Cromwell was 49 points, was it? Uh, Cromwell is... 40, 40, high 40s. 47. Yeah, whereas T-34 is 40, it has two less initiative, but you can get two initiative for less than seven points. Yeah. And six, class. it's still higher than most. So this loses to Cromwell, but still beats most other things. Yep. What's good about Cromwell, it just beats everything in initiative. But otherwise, it's got very similar stats. It's got good mobility. It's got the three mobility like Cromwell has. It's got most of the features Cromwell has, but it trades in seven points for two initiatives. So T34, a solid, a solid choice. A solid sausage. Uh, KV, uh, well, I mean, it's just a fatty patty at the back of the board, you know. <laughs> so KV's got a, a decent armour and hit points and doesn't cost too many points. It's an unremarkable vehicle, but it's it's a bit tougher 
than you, than most of your medium tanks. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit tougher. If you want mining force, you're not paying a fortune for it. You're not losing a tank to get a heavy tank. Okay, we'll do that for you. And then SU one hundred. Oh, the beast. SU one hundred five past six, mate. That's what's special. Oh. SU one hundred. What was the? Has the tiger got anything like that? What's the eighty-eight kicking out? Is it What's five? The tiger, 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 tiger. Ah, five. five power five. Yeah, five. Ouch. For fifty-one points, five power six. Six firepower is a massive. That's a big deal. deal. Yeah. You know, like I said, less than four. I don't think it's worth rolling the dice. <laughs> um, <laughs> but six is going to reliably put out damage. And it's six firepower on a hull that isn't terrible. Tim ability, yeah, it's got you a know, bit of survivability. As some of the German late war, like, you know, the Nashorn or the, the Hornets, uh, there's no structures of that vehicle. It's, it's, a, a, gun it's a total last with cannon. With a token gesture. Yeah. Stop the weather. This is about it. This has still got two front armor, the SU-100. It's still got, you know, five hit points, maybe something like that, five hit points. It's got the three initiative. It's got problems. But the f the firepower for the cost is quite low. Yeah. You need to think about what you're going to do with a vehicle like this. Hide it in a bush. No, no, you need to be shooting it, though. And it has to move first. It's definitely not an easy vehicle to use. But if the rest of your force is like T-34, something's like, all right, yeah, I have to think about this one, and then I'll wait for my opponent to take yeah, his the turn. Yeah, the rest of it, the T-34, so just rushing at just your face. Just whizzing at you, yeah, ah! yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well... If you've not played World of Tanks with the with a high initiative force, you're definitely playing the game in hard mode. <laughs> you, you know, um, it, 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 you try and get yourself a game where you have more initiative than your opponent, even if you have to it pay upgrades help. for yeah, it, yeah. and and you'll just find the game is so much easier to play. Now you do have to pay for that, but as long as you've got more than one piece of terrain on the board. That high initiative, a higher initiative is worth playing for, and that's a shame. If you want to play it that way, I mean, if you're really just playing with your mates, then pick up a couple of these, and obviously yeah. you still need the rules. Yeah. But just play the randomness of it. Play the. So what's your top pick? My top pick. I told you it's it's the Soviets. KV's okay. T thirty four is a cracker. Su one hundred, great vehicle. I just want to play you with the three random tanks. Three but random I, I tanks. Want, no, when, when I say three random tanks, I oh, want to play, play you with this the platoon. Yeah, set? I want to do that. Can I have the Soviet one? By all means. I just want to see what it's like you playing with randomness. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's right, cool. maybe, maybe we'll give it a go. Um, I'm glad that, that for people that are interested in the game, beef out the collections. You've got the option with all those other languages. If, yeah. you, if you need the card quantity, you could do that. Because you've got an English version of it in there. You know what the yeah. rules do. True. And it's just a slightly lower price point. I, I really like it. Three I tanks. actually use a lot of these to build my Flames of War collection as well. Yeah, there's a lot of crossover. Because it's for you. it saves me it's 20 minutes vehicle. building it. Yeah, yeah, same vehicle, absolutely. It's built and proper. Alright, hope you found it interesting, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you enjoy World of Tanks the Miniatures game, maybe you want to give it a try. You can buy the starter set from our online store, modelingforadvantage.co.uk. Thank you for watching.